Hey guys, I got a, a basics video for you today. It's that time of year and I'm checking my fluids. And other than the, the air tool oil and the whey oil, I mean, these are easy to get to. The draw bar intensifier or reservoir is a little harder to get to. Um, so it's a quick little video of how you remove this cover and look at the intensifier or the reservoir and make sure you have enough fluid in there and then fill it if you do. This is my third year taking this off. There are three screws at the bottom. You'll see that I actually missed a screw taking this off. Three screws at the bottom. I believe that's a four millimeter hex. I think about seven screws on the side. Let's see, one, two, three, four. That's like seven. And then three more on the top. And I just adjust this Z column. I open this this window up to the right here and I just kind of duck in. Where, whatever's comfortable for you, I'm about six feet tall. So this is easy for me to get at these screws just with a, this T-handled hex. I suppose you could use, you know, an impact driver or some kind of electric doodad, but just be warned this is just screwed into sheet metal. There's there's nothing else reinforcing this thin wall sheet metal and uh, at least putting it back in place you run the risk of double threading or or stripping out the hole entirely. We've got one more screw left here on top and uh, and then it just slides out. That is it slides out if you don't forget to take out one screw right there. It's hidden right next to the coolant line there. Take that screw out and then this panel is, uh, you know, you remove this panel and you can see your, uh, your Z motor, your draw bar. You can see the little reservoir that they have that holds this, I believe it's a it's an ISO, um, shoot, what, what is it? Thir it's a 32 weight hydraulic oil, I believe. So everything in mine is just upside down. The Siemens logo, all of the Chinese writing there is upside down. Uh, but you know, there's a fill line and on top there's a little button that you can pull out and fill. Now, if I were to fill this, I would have to get up to the top of the machine, completely remove the top cover to probably fill this appropriately. So anyway, hope that's helpful for you. If you haven't done this yet, uh, you just remove this cover. You can inspect it annually. And if needs be, uh, fill it up with the uh, hydraulic oil recommended by the manufacturer. Take care. Cheers. Bye.